Welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back with another video. In this video, we will learn about how to sign in with the Google in the Flutter application. This is a small series of three videos. First video, we will log in with our Google. And in the second video, we will log in with the Facebook. And in the third video, we will log in WooCommerce application. So this is our application. So if I click here in the sign in with the Google, so it will give us option to select the Google account. If we select any of the Google account here, it will populate all the detail of that Google account. That is profile pic, then the display name, then we have our email id then here we have logout button and if we click on the logout button we will redirect to our login page so before starting the video if you are new to our channel subscribe to the channel by click on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos thank you So we are going to use two packages in our application. First one is Google sign in and the second one is a provider package. And this is a package for the login into a Google in our Flutter application. So the documentation very straightforward. So only thing we have to require to do is to follow over this documentation. On the basis of that, we can do some modification on Android and the iOS and here. And the second package we are using here provider and that will be used for state management and all for handling our login and all. So now we have to go to the website of Firebase for set up our project. Jack. We have to go to this URL console.firebase.google.com and here we are logging. Now we will create a new project here. We will click on the add project and here the project name we are giving here WooCommerce login. And the location we are selecting here India and here we will click on the terms and conditions and we will click on the create project and it will create the project for us. So now the project has been created. We will click on the continue here. So here we are having three options. First one is iOS, the second one is Android. The third one is for the web and here. So first of all, we will create with the Android version and we will click here on the Android. So here it will ask us for the Android package name and that package name will be the same package name of our application. So now we will go to our Flutter application to see what is the package name for the Android. So this is our application. We will click on the Android folder and there we will go to app folder and here we have the source folder. Inside that we have the main folder and then we have the Android manifest.xml file. We will click here and here you can see this is a package name and this package name we have to put there and we will copy this package name and now we will go there in the website and here we will put this package name and here we can put any name for our application we are putting here social login so here we have to generate our SSH key so now we will go back to our project and there we will generate this key and here we will open a terminal here so now we will put this command cd android so now we are on the android folder so here we will write gradle w dot bat then here we have to write signing a report so here we will get all the keys here so here we got all the keys here you can see all the variants the first variant is debug variant then we have variant profile variant then we have variant debug unit test then we have profile unit test then here we have the release unit test also and we have to pick only debug variant here and here you can see the debug variant we have sha and we have to to copy this and we have to paste this in the URL and here we will paste it. So now we will click on the register app. So here you can see the registration has been successful. So now we have to download this file google service.json file and this file we have to copy to our app folder. Now we will go to our project and here we have our app folder. So we have to copy that file inside our app folder and here we have copied the file. So now that file inside our app folder. So now let's move further. So now we'll go to our console.cloud.google.com and there we have to give some permission so that our project will be accessible with our email login and all. So now here we will go to console.cloud.google.com slash APS slash dashboard. So here you can see we have the projects here and we have to select the project which we have created in our Firebase. And here you can see all the projects here. So the project which we are currently working on is WooCommerce login and we will select this project. Now we will go to our menu option and here we have all our consent screen and we will click here. And here we have to select user type as external because we are using our Google account for our external login and all. And here we will select external and we will click on the create here. And here just we have to put the email ID here. We have to select the email ID here, support email. Then we will go down and here also we have to put the email ID. We have to put here snippet coders at the rate gmail.com and we will click here save and continue. Then again we have to click here save and continue. We have to do nothing here. Here we will click save and continue. Again, we have to click save and continue. 
then here we are getting a summary of whatever we have entered now we will click on the back to dashboard and here you can see publishing status in the testing so we have to click a publish app it will publish our app so that we can use use the login in our production app and all now we will click here in the publish app it will give us the confirmation and all push to production and we will click on the confirm here so now our app is in a production so there is no need of verification and all because we are not asking any special permission and all we are just doing the login and all so now all the setup has been done so now we'll go to the code part to see is it working or not So this is our application. So here we will go to a puff spec and there we will add the two packages and here we will add Google underscore sign in and the version we are using a 5.0.5. Then we are using a provider and the version we are using a 5.0.0. Then here we have to enable our asset folder and there we have to put two images. First one is for our Google sign in and second one is for our Facebook sign in and here we will put assets slash images. So here inside that we have to create one folder here and here we will create assets folder inside that we have to create new folder that is images folder so here we have added two images first one is fb sign in with facebook and the second image is google sign in sign in with google these images we are going to use in our ui so first of all we have to create a new controller file that is google underscore login underscore controller dot dot file and here we have to create a class google sign in controller with change notifier and here we have to create the object for google sign in underscore google sign in is equal to google sign in and here we have to import google sign in package and here we have to create the object for google sign in account and this will include all the information which, which is having the account information after login we will get the information in this variable and as we are using here null safety we have to put a question mark then here we have to give the name for the variable name google account so here we have to create two function first one is login function and we are putting here async and here we have this dot google account is equal to await of underscore google sign in dot sign in so what it will do it will sign in to the google account and give all the information in this variable because the return type of this variable is a future type of google sign in so that's why we are using here async await and after that we have to call here notify listener then we have to create one more function here and the name of the function is logout and we are putting here async this dot google account is equal to await underscore google sign in dot sign out and we will call here notify listener so here we have to call the sign out and we have to assign the value of that sign out with this google account because we have to empty this google account variable after that calling the sign out that's why we have to put here this dot google account is equal to await google sign in dot sign out then we have to call here notify listener so it will refresh the ui and all now let's move to the ui part to have the implementation and all so here we will create a new page that is login underscore page dot dot file and here we will create stateful visit google login page and here we have to import material and this visit we will convert it with our scaffold visit and here we have scaffold then here we have the app bar here we will put here app bar and the title we are using here social login then we have the background color here we have login start add async then here we have the body here and for that we have to create a new visit here login ui and here we have to consume our provider and all and here we will return consumer google sign in controller and here we have the builder context model child and and here we will check if model dot google account is not equal to null that means we are already logged then we are showing here login ui else we will show the login buttons and all and here we will return that login ui that we will create here and here we will create a new and the name of that visit is logged in ui and here we have to pass the model here and we will center this visit before that we have to create this method here and we will wrap it with our center visit and all center child and here here we will call in the else condition we will call here login controls and here we have to pass context and here we will create this function also and we will call this login ui from here so here we will create in the logged in ui if the user is logged in we will display the user information and all and here we will return column visit then we have the children's here before that we have main access alignment and we are putting in main access alignment dot center and then we have the cross access alignment and we are putting here cross access alignment dot center in the children the first children we have to show the image of our profile image and here we are using a circle of the and then we have the background image and we are putting here image dot network and there we have model dot 
Google account. As we are using a null safety, we have to put here explanator sign dot photo URL because this photo URL is nullable. And here we have to put empty. Then here we have to put image. And the radius we are using here 50. And then we have the text visit and that we have to show the display name and all. We are using a model dot Google account dot display name. And here again we have to put explanator because display name is also nullable. And then we have the text visit. Here we have model dot Google account dot email. Here also explanator sign. And then here we have to show our logout button for that we are using an action chip and here we are using the avatar and there we are using the icon as a icon start logout and then we have the label here and we are putting a text visit logout and then we have the on press event and from here we will call provider of and here we have to pass google sign in controller context listen false and here we will call logout function so now logged in ui is ready so now let's create that login controls ui also and here we will return center visit because we have to show both the button of login in the inside the center of the screen and here in the child we are using a column visit and the first child we are using here image dot asset and we are picking from our assets here slash images slash google dot png and then we are putting here width we are using it 250 the same we are using here for the facebook also and here we have fp and here we have to make that button clickable so we will convert it to our Gaster detector and here we have gaster detector and we will cut this code and here we will put the child and we will call this code and then here we have on type event and from here we will call provider of google sign in controller context listen false and here we will call login function so that facebook we will cover later on so that's why we are putting the login function here not in that facebook part so now the ui is almost ready so now we will modify our main dot dot file also and we will remove all this unnecessary code and this one we will change it with our login page and here we will return multi provider and here we have to pass our provider list and all and here we have the child here and the child we are returning here this material app and here in the provider we have to pass here change notify provider and here we have the create context then we have our google sign in controller and here we have the child here inside the child we are just calling our login page so now our ui is ready so now let's test the application for the android and here we will run the application so here we are getting two buttons first one is a sign in with google and the second one is a sign in with facebook so now let's center both the button in our screen to make it center we have to change here and we have to put here main x alignment main x alignment dot center so now it will come inside the center so now if i click on a sign in with google so here you can see that login pop-up is came here so now if i click on that email id so now we are successfully logging we are getting here that profile image then we are getting here display name then we are getting here email id and also we are getting here logout button for the logout button also we have write up code for that here provider of context and then we are calling here logout so now if i click on the logout here so we are able to logout also and we are back to our login page so again if i click here in the login sign in with google so now if we click here we are able to log in here so now let's move further for the last step and we will indicate the same thing for our iOS also. So here in the iOS we have to go to the console.firebase.google.com and we will select the project here. This is our project WooCommerce login and here we will click on the add app and we have to select here ios and here we have to put the ios bundle id that we can pick from our code let's go to the code so here we have the ios folder and we will click here right click and we will click the open in x code and here we will click on the runner and here you can see bundle identifier we have to copy this and we have to paste there then both of these things are optional now we will click on the register app so here we have that google service hyphen info dot p list and we have to download this file so now file has been downloaded we, we have to go to the x code and there in the runner we have to right click and we have to add files to the runner and from here we have to select the file and this is our file google service.info.plist and we will click on the add from here we will drag the file and we will put inside our runner folder so now we have this file inside our runner folder now we will go to our package in our browser and here we have ios integration so now we have to modify our info.plist and we have to copy this code 
Now we will go to the code and here we will go to the is folder. Then we have the runner folder and there we have info.plist. We will click here and we will go to the bottom here and here we will paste this code. So now we have to change this code and we will go to our Google service dot info dot plist. And from there we have to pick the key reverse client underscore ID. And now we will go there and we have to copy this line and we have to paste there. So now let's run the application to see is it working or not. So here our application. So now if I click on a sign in with Google. So here we are getting letter social login want to use google.com to sign in. We will click on the continue here. So now it will open that account.google.com and there we have to log in to google.com to our Gmail ID and here we will enter our email ID. Now we will click on the next here. And here we will enter the password. So here you can see we are able to log in here and we are redirected to our logged in page. And here we are getting the profile image. Then we are getting a display name. Then we are getting here email ID. Then here we have the logout button. If I click on the logout here, it will redirect us to our login page. So that's all in this video. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is the first episode of our social login with the WooCommerce. And this is a Google login. In the next video, we will cover our Facebook login and all. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome videos thank you all